All right, what is up, boys? So today we are back with another video. This is going to be the top five best fighters in UFC five. Um, so yeah, let's just jump straight into it. These obviously being my top five best fighters. To, uh, gonna tell you how to use them. You know why I think they are the best. And yeah, just hopefully you can also get on the, you know, trend and use them and try and get some ranked wins. So let's get into it. So yeah, this one kind of a no-brainer here. I'm sure most of you have expected it. You know, it is Sean O'Malley, the champion in the bantamweight division. He has four and a half star. Uh, he's a four and a half star kickboxer. But just look at them perks, laser focus. So you know, spinning punches, straight punches are all faster and more accurate. So that straight down the pipe is that much quicker. Spin kicks even faster and more accurate. You know, if you do get taken down by the likes of a Mrab, uh, the likes of an Aljo, or even, you know, uh, a Yan trying to test his uh, grappling, you do have able to get up to your feet uh, from the ground easily. Um, frontal assault as well, and skirmisher. So, yeah, some really good perks. Obviously, 98 punch speed, 95 punch power. But what you want to use, kind of, O'Malley is obviously for his striking. But you need to keep the fight at a distance, because otherwise you do lose a lot of his kind of... Um, advantages the reach the height so you want to be able to kind of use the ranger strikes at o'malley you want to use the one two the one two lead hook most of it is when your opponent's kind of coming in into the pocket you're standing on the outside you know you hit them with the one two when they're entering maybe if they're you know still kind of walking forward you can hit them with a one two lead hook and um, you know the jab hook if they finally do make it on the inside i love to kind of chain the combos to get a jab straight lead hook and the jab rear hook so yeah can you use them combos with O'Malley? You want to keep them away. Jab, side, kick, jab, body up, cut, jab, body straight at a distance. Moving forward, really a lot of kind of mix-up combos with O'Malley. Definitely want to use the head and body combinations with O'Malley. And obviously keep it at a distance. But yeah, then obviously he has the ability to be able to defend off the grapplers. And just keep them at a distance and just ping their head off. He has 90 uh, takedown defense, 90 sub defense, ground striking a 92. 91 clinch control and 90 clinch striking. And then he has really good cardio at 92 cardio, 94 health, um, 92 body, 89 legs, 93 recovery, and 92 cut resistance. So, yeah, really, really good. So, yeah, that is Sean O'Malley. Now, let us get into the top five fighter, I believe. Um, now we are heading to the featherweight division. And you may be thinking, ah, it's going to be like Alexander Volkanovsky, like UFC 4, because Alex was definitely a dominant fighter in UFC 4, and definitely top 5, I wouldn't even argue. Top 3, top 1 is where Alex was, without doubt. So yeah, let's get into it. So Alex Volkanovsky is not going to be in this list, sadly enough. But the man, the myth... The UFC 178 2014 version of Conor McGregor is going to be. And that is just because at the moment it seems as though long rangey strikers with really nice one twos and just to have the range on their opponent. Nice teep kicks, nice spinning attacks to the body as well seem to be kind of the meta at the moment. So right now I do believe Conor McGregor is better than... Alexander Volkanovsky is better than Holloway, he's better than Elia Tuporia. Obviously, you can use them and do really well with them. But if you're looking for my top five best, Connor's in here and I'll show you why. And I think you'll uh, get to agreeing pretty quickly. Obviously, laser focus, fast hands, frontal assault, and taekwondo. So all of his strikes just sped up and even more accurate. And let's go into his strike. And I mean, you know, it speaks for itself. I don't know how it's not five star, but yeah. 98 punch speed, 97 punch power, 99 accuracy. I mean, in the meta of this game, being uh, popping off them 1-2s, a lot of the jab straights do track um, with 99 accuracy paired with 98 punch speed, 97 punch power, a 5-star cross. I mean, Connor is just going to be unbeatable on the feet, and you can do pretty well at keeping it on the feet with the 90 takedown defense along with the takedown defense on this game being kind of simple to do at the moment. Yeah, just same kind of what you want to do with O'Malley. Uh, you know, you can use the 1-2, but I'd say you can't, I do suggest you can pressure a little bit more with Connor, I believe, because he's a little bit better in the pocket. His arms aren't as long. So yeah, you can trade in the pocket a little bit more successfully against the likes of um Alexander Volkanovsky and Toporia and Holloway or whoever you may be fighting in the featherweight division. But yeah, I think Connor's 
by far the best featherweight at the moment. Um, not the greatest of grappling, but yeah, using Connor, you know what you're getting into. 90 cardio, but he does have 97 chin, 94 body, 94 legs, 92 recovery, 91 resistance. So just absolutely beautiful stats there. And then, I mean, level 5 straight, level 4 hook, level 4 uppercut, level 4 body front kick, which is that deep kick I was referring to. Now, you got to get, get that in, use the 1-2, jab straight, lead hook, jab, teep, body straight, body lead hook. You know, stuff like that, just to mix up combos. So, yeah, let's get into the top five, one of my top five fighters in UFC 5 in the lightweight division. And this one may come as a surprise, just considering who the first two were. But I'm going to give you a breakdown as to why they are somewhat similar, even though you could argue they're polar opposites. It is going to be Charles, the Bronx, Olivier. Um, so, yeah, let's get into it. Now, I'll, first of all, I'll start with his perks, but I also will explain why I feel like he is somewhat similar to Con uh, Deshaun and um, Connor Pick, just because he does have that really rangy 1-2. He has a move set that you do want to be hitting to the body with. He has a move, you know, he has them high-level rear body teeps. He has the j uh, long jab straight, so you can dip down to that body with the body straight he has really high level clinch knees so if you clinch up you can do some really nice d damage to the body and yeah i just feel like you kind of stay at a bit of a distance with him pick at your opponent use the jab straight use the teep use the side kick to the body use the spinning attacks to the body um, and yeah just really for rangy and obviously just look at his perks all around two for submissions one for stamina on the ground one for striking and one for recovery and health. So yeah, just beautiful perks there. And then I mean, you honestly would forget um if you if someone didn't show you the name Charles Olivier, you'd think, wow, this guy is such an amazing striker. But I'm sure his grappling is gonna be uh you know at fault for it or you know the downfall of him. So just look at them stats and he's a grappler, you know. 94 punch speed, 95 punch power. You know, you want to be able to use them somewhat similar to Sean and Connor when on the feet, but you want to be able to clinch it up, make it dirty, push them to the cage, body knee them, head elbow them, use them kind of knees and elbows. Don't obviously spin them, you uh, spam them, use the spin attacks as well as that. But once you're kind of getting in there, you're grinding on your opponent, you're using them teeps, that body work, you do want to shoot them takedowns, you want to be able to get it down to the ground and use them submissions that we are going to get into now. There we go. 99 sub offense. You cannot ask for better because there is not better. I think only Heist Gracie actually. So maybe. I think he has 100 sub offense. But yeah, Charles just an absolute force to be reckoned with there. Uh, 93 takedowns, 95 top control, 94 bottom control. And as well as that, he does have rubber guards. So yeah. Players, 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 utilize that clinch as well. Don't be afraid to get in a bit of clinch work there. You know, clinch them up, use the knees, use the elbows, use the body work. And yeah. There we go, 95 recovery. So let's get into the top, my top five five fighter in welterweight in the UFC five. This was a tough one because it could easily have went to Shavkat, but I am going to go with Leon Edwards. I believe he's just a more Troy and Trude, uh, if that is the saying, I believe so. So he has laser focus, crazy legs, frontal assault, and marathon or perk. So yeah, and then his striking stats do not do him justice because where really he shines is his level of moves and you really do feel that in ufc 5 now because there are different level animations for the likes of hooks and uppercuts which there weren't previously um and even the likes of teep kicks front kicks all have different animations leon's are the top at the top and you just really feel it and yeah 94 punch speed punch speed 91 punch power not the most amazing but he makes up for it in them punch level moves which you will get into 95 accuracy 94 blocking but to start the show that 95 kick power 95 kick speed which unfortunately Usman had to fall fate to but as well as that you can grapple with him not as well as um the likes of Charles but you really can he has 92 top control 92 takedowns 91 submission defense as well when you're fighting the likes of a Shavkat which he could arguably be the best in the division but like I said I do kind of tip my hat to uh, Leon just slightly and he'd also much like Charles if not identical to Charles 96 clinch striking as well as the 95 clinch control so do not be afraid to use that but yeah you want to kind of use Leon 
bit more patient than anyone we've been speaking of and you just want to try and drag it into them later rounds just pop at your opponent but make sure you use every single strike that leon has because they're all high level you want to keep them to the body you want to front kick them to the face you want to straight them to the head you want to straight them to the body lead hook them to the head rear uh, body hook them all of that just mix ups beautiful if you can get a knockdown get on top use some of that top control but yeah really sh sh really shines as well 93 cardio 95 body 92 recovery 92 cut resistance as well but yeah here we go now this one may not come to you as a surprise as well but i do believe um you could very easily also give it to Pereira, like you could give it to um shavkat in welterweight but yeah top five fighters to finish off the list is israel adesanya um as you can see here Wait there, actually. I want to show off Leon's punch level moves as well. So, yeah. Level 5 roundhouse. Level 5 clinch elbows. Level 5 ground elbows. Level 4 elbow. Level 4 straight. So, yeah. A lot of the elbow perks. Just a uh, high level. But, yeah. Laser focus. Crazy legs. Frontal assault. Wake up a call. And pay to miss. Just really good stuff from Adesanya. Uh, you can just pick opponents at range. You can be in the pocket with them. He just has that much speed. That much power. And that much accuracy and uh with teep levels as i was talking about them level animations my god his blade question mark kick his rear question mark kick his rear body kick lead body kick question uh teep uh front kick to the head lead for a head kick everything is just so high level with adesanya in this game and it feels so good to be using him so yeah i do believe he is definitely the best in the middleweight division paired with that 99 footwork you can just kind of skate around the octagon and poke your opponents at range as he does in real life not obviously the best of grappling, but you're getting you're using Adesanya, you know you're getting into, but he really does have great health as well as that. Many people may not know that he has five star health, 96 cardio, 95 chain, 95 recovery, 99, 95 body, 94 legs, and uh, yeah, 89 cut resistance. But look at them level fives, they are just endless, and they are only his top moves, so there are many, many, many level fives uh, beyond that. So yeah. There we go, boys. If you have enjoyed, a like would be appreciated. And if you have not already subscribed, would be much recommended to do so. If you have any more video ideas for me or tutorials or help you want with anything or you want to see me use a certain fighter of your uh, choice, please do let me know and I will get to it. So, yeah, appreciate us all for watching once again. Uh, peace out.